a sea of yellow jerseys in support of Jair Bolsonaro. By the thousands, supporters of the former president flooded Sao Paulo's Paulista Avenue. For them, the far-right leader is being unjustly persecuted as he faces multiple investigations. I identify myself with the ideas that Bolsonaro defends, which are God, homeland, family, freedom of the press and speech, and the free market, unlike this current government that goes out into the world talking nonsense. We're living terrible days in this place, where we are silenced. We don't have the right to speak about the truth that happens here. Bolsonaro is currently in a judicial hot seat and could face jail time. His passport's been confiscated and he's been barred from running for office until 2030 after convictions of spreading election falsehoods. He's now being investigated for involvement in last year's alleged coup. The attacks on the presidential palace occurred a week after his successor, President Lula, took office. But Bolsonaro denies any responsibility. What is a coup? It's tanks on the streets, weapons, conspiracy. It's bringing political and business classes onto your side. None of this happened in Brazil. Facing multiple investigations, Bolsonaro took a more subdued tone at the rally. And his supporters also followed suit, not wielding banners or signs. But their mass presence in Sao Paulo showed that the former president remains a political force in a still deeply divided nation.